steal competitors SEO ranking secrets. Guys, this is an awesome, awesome secret that I'm going to show you today that I guarantee you will help you get better SEO results. So what I've got today for you is super juicy, guys. Now I have developed this awesome sheet that what it does is it goes and as it goes and crawls your competitor's sitemap. You set a specific keyword. So let's say it's Fort Lauderdale, like I've used in this example, which I'll run you through. Then it crawls the entire site, every single URL on the site. And it looks for the mentions of that word, outputs it here as per each URL and totals it up for you. Now, you might be sitting there going, Ronald, why on earth would I care about a specific mention on, on, on my competitor's website? Because that is a bit of a secret. Why do you think the topic maps are working so well? It's because you're constantly talking about something throughout your website. Makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? If you constantly say across a lot of your pages like these guys have done, saying, I'm a roofer in Fort Lauderdale, I'm a roofer in Fort Lauderdale, and you have the least amount of reviews in the map pack, you're not actually centrally located to the location, but you're doing awesome organically and the backlink profile is not that good. We've got the same backlink profile. What could it be? Could it be the fact that on your website, you've got a thousand and one mentions of that location? Maybe it is. Hint, hint. You're welcome. Put a comment down below because I just gave away a massive, massive nugget. So you guys put that a comment down below just saying g'day. Say g'day to me, guys, and I'll respond so we can boost this out and share it out there. Give a like. Now, let me show you how you work the spreadsheet and how you get it. So all you need to do, all right, come back to the spreadsheet over here, sheet one. We need to start with sheet one. So go on to your competitor. So whoever's website it is, just do the sitemap.xml. Go to the sitemap.xml, all right, because the reason I changed it up, Yoast, Rankler, all of them have different uh, URL structures. Just copy that bad boy. And all you need to do is put it in this cell right here, all right? So just cell one, A1, alas. All right, then from here, just go extensions. You will need to, once, like with this sheet, it's all going to be good to go. You might need to go import macro, though, once you download this sheet for free. So just so it sets it up on the back end, just FYI. So just click on import. I've already set it up. You should have access to the scrape site, but just it does happen with some people. So go down to the scrape sitemap keyword counts. Click on that bad boy. All right, so now because we've got it in A1, so capital A1, boom. Now this is going looking at the sitemap. Now we want to put in the keyword. So as an example, like I said, I used Fort Lauderdale before. In this situation, we're going to just do, uh, let's do roofing contractor. Uh, let's just do roofing. Let's leave it as roofing. There's going to be a lot of mentions. Hit OK. Now, typically speaking, it normally takes about like a couple of minutes. So I'll just leave it here and I'll come back when it's done. All right, so that's done. Literally took two minutes. So all you need to do, once it's done, it'll pop up saying, yep, keywords are done on the sheet. Just hit OK, guys. Then come down to the keyword counts. Now, this is going to update every time. And again, boom, let's open that bad boy up. Now, like I said, we use the keyword roofing. So we can see on every single page, this is how many times that was mentioned. Ways to cool your roof in Fort Lauderdale. We can see roofing was used 168 times. Now, the important thing to remember is what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up for you, all right? I'm going to open this bad boy up, this page. Now, if we just have a quick look, because I guarantee you this is going to come up, roofing, you can see it's like, Ronnie, but on that page, it only says it nine times. Why are we just looking at the page? Because this is what we see. Is this what Google sees? No, it's not what Google sees. So why don't we go look at the page source and actually have a look? We go Control F, 168. Interesting. So it's actually looking at the page source. That's what I like. I like looking at the page source because overall, I know if there's a lot of mentions, it's a big difference. Page source, and then we look at the actual page. You're sitting there going, where have they stuffed it all in? They've stuffed it. This counts everything on the entire page. Remember, this is basically what Google is seeing. If you want to see the comparisons, look at it with the rendered DOM. But basically, Google is seeing 168 mentions of roofing. That is why you need to kind of look at that stuff. Like I stress on this stuff with the keyword density. You know, you always look at the, the main what's on the page, but also look at what Google's seeing as well, because 
It doesn't matter what I see. I could sit here and be like, ah, nine times, cool bananas. But if it's 168 across the page, I know that, all right, I've got to mention it a few times. So come back to the extractor. Guys, you'll be able to scroll down. You can see all the big hitting pages for that. And again, roofing, Tiger Team Roofing is this company's name. But you can see there's 35,000 mentions, 36,000 mentions across the website, all right? So let me just zoom in a little bit. But this is just a great starting point, again, because you're going to be sitting there going, how often do I need to have this mentioned across the back end of my site? Boom, roofing, 35,000, 36,000 times. Fort Lauderdale, wasn't it? It was like 1,100. So you know, you know across your site, there needs to be 1,000 mentions of Fort Lauderdale. And like I said, these guys, you'll be sitting there going, but there's guys further down that have really good reviews that are more centrally located to, to Fort Lauderdale. How are they in number two? Well, I can't figure it out. You're welcome. You're welcome, guys. I love you, legends. I'm approaching 100,000 subscribers. So thank you very much. That's why I wanted to give this awesome, awesome tip away for all of you. Go out there and access this sheet. It'll just be on the long list of all of the sheets I have down here, guys. I'll put it down at the bottom. So I'll call it the sitemap keyword extractor. Go get it. But as you can see, I've got a heap of other spreadsheets here, guys. Local SEO. I've got the free backlink monitor. Literally monitor backlinks for free. ROI calculator. An SEO forecaster calculator. Go and grab this. If you're new here, go and grab this. It's completely free. This is what I do for free, guys. You want discounts on things like on the store backlinks. You want to join the Facebook group. It's all in here. All links to it are here. That'll be linked down below. Please put a comment on there. Share this around to other people that you believe will help. Thank you again for your awesome support, legends. Enjoy this nugget. I guarantee you, you're going to get more results if you put this into play. And I'll see you around, legends.